What is going on YouTube? Parker the Basset here. In today's video, we're going to be checking out Amazon's very cheapest 12 volt amplifier. We're going to see exactly what this thing can do and how loud it can get some speakers, maybe even hook it up to a sub. Let's get into it, y'all. Quick guys, of course, today's sponsor is Defbox. Once again, have to give them a huge shout out for supporting the channel. Now, today through March 12th, they're having their tax season sale, which means they have some awesome, awesome deals on their website. Tons of stuff is discounted, and a bunch of stuff is even discounted up to 20%. Here, just so y'all can see real quick what some of the deals we got. We got the Avatar STUs guys are 20% off. Again, normally $4.99, now $3.99. Have a full review on this sub. It did awesome, and that's a great deal. Look at that. We got 20% off of the Flight R's. I had a review on the Flight S a couple weeks ago. It's, of course, the smaller version of this, and it was $140. Bucks. You now can pick up the Big Brother for the exact same price. That is awesome. We got Big Boy Amps on sale, over $100 off. If you want some great deals, definitely go snag them before the time is up. Definitely go check out Alfred Audio. There will, of course, be a link in the description below. All right, guys, back to today's video. That's right, guys. At least at the time of me filming this, this is the very cheapest 12 volt amplifier that you can get on Amazon. I believe it was $12.99 or $13.99. This is made by Kinter USA. Let's see what the model number is. Kinter MA170 12 volt two channel amplifier. Let's check this thing out. We get some screws and some 3M adhesive tape, nothing else. Here's the amplifier, all bubble wrapped up. Of course, we just have a one-sided little instructions manual. Okay, the output power is two times 18 watts. That's with, uh, at four ohms, and that's with 10% THD. Of course, this is a DC 12 volt amplifier. Shows you how to wire everything up and what each of the buttons do. Okay, here it is, y'all. <laughs> Look at this little guy. It does have a pretty thin, but some sort of metal casing on it. Over here, we've got our power on and off button. Of course, we have our main volume right here. Then you can adjust your treble up and down, I believe within nine dB and your bass. So that is interesting. Two channel hi-fi stereo amplifier. Of course, I have our inputs for our RCAs. Input for our 12 volts. Then we have our outputs over here. And these actually do feel not too bad. Some pretty decent spring to them. Very cool, guys. For a quick comparison, y'all, here is a Taramps 12,000 watt amplifier. And here's this little fella right here. This guy retails, retails for, I think, $800 to $1,000 now. They've gone up in price a good deal. Of course, $13 right here. <laughs> kind of cool. All right, this is my 12 volt setup that we got over here for my garage. The way this is ran, we ran off of a battery and we have a 12 volt battery charger up here. This of course powers my speakers. We got my head unit. We have a sub down here. Now, of course, this guy is a 12 volt amp, but it's got this little connector right there. So either you can go buy one of these. I got one of these off Amazon, a little power inverter. This uh, plugs into your wall. You also can get a connector that would go into there and then plug into a cigarette lighter. Or you can get one that just has uh, two wires, a positive and negative wire, which you can plug straight into your battery. So you could figure that out if you wanted to use this in your car as opposed to a home audio setup. But let's turn this fella on. So you can see we get some kind of cool colors going on there. That's neat. Also, fun fact, this little 120 volt to 12 volt uh, charger was more expensive than the amp itself. All right, so next up, we're just gonna run some RCAs to this guy and then we're gonna run some speaker wire from this guy up to my speakers up here. Let's see how it does. Okay, obviously a little messy, but uh, this will do. Let's power 
this thing on. Let's power my head unit on. Let's turn this guy up. All right, for being so cheap, it does get surprisingly loud. Now I've got everything turned up, but of course the song paused. I don't know if you can hear, there is some static, some buzzing. Probably won't pick up on the video though, it is pretty faint. Now at first, when I first turned it up, I turned the main volume all the way up. I had these guys all the way down and it sounded muffled and didn't really get loud at all wasn't until I turned the bass and treble knobs about to about halfway is when it really came alive, sounded normal. So I guess it says negative and plus 10. I guess the negative 10 must actually be blocking out some of the tree frequencies, bringing them down some. So if you do get this guy, definitely gonna wanna at least turn these up to the midpoint. Then of course, if you need to boost one or the other, you could turn one or the, one or the other up. All right, let's play some more, but let's turn these guys all the way up, see how it sounds. When I turned the treble up, it really just made it louder. It sounded fine. However, once you get the bass knob above really the halfway, you really could hear everything crackling and staticking a good deal. Again, $13 amp, so what do you expect? And I gotta say for 13 bucks, I am actually surprised. It is doing as well as it's doing, but obviously sound quality, not great. Of course, that makes sense. You need a lot more power, a lot more wattage to get a lot of bass volume than you do those higher frequencies. Next up, let's hook up a sub to this guy just for the heck of it. I've got this scar box over here. I've got an old white brick sub that I blew, so we're gonna pop this out. I have a scar SDR sub. We're gonna throw in this. It's a decently soft sub, so it won't need much power to get it moving. Anyway, gonna throw that in there and then hook it up, see what it does. I swear, guys, mice ruined everything I have in this garage. Let's clean this out and then throw a sub in there. All right, we've got this guy hooked up to the box. Let's see if it'll do anything. like the super low frequencies at all.
there you go, guys. There's Amazon's very cheapest amp. This might even be the cheapest amp out there, right at $13. I'll say it sounds okay. It does its job for 13 bucks. But obviously, guys, save up a little bit more money. Go get something nicer. Buttons are clunky, kind of silly. If you want this thing to even work, you got to walk up, you know, punch this button to turn it on and off. You don't want that. You want an amp that you can make turn on with the rest of your system. But yeah, and this thing is 13 bucks, so it does what it's supposed to do. But obviously, guys, save up some money. Get something better. All right, YouTube, that's going to do it for this video. Remember, as always, keep basing on. Real quick, guys, if you want to check out some awesome wireless earbuds and headphones, you got to check out the new Down for Sound lineup. We have the BassBud BB1s, the BassBud Pro 1s, and, of course, the Studio One Pros. Y'all, I love these things. I've been using them a ton over the last month. Affiliate link in the description below.